Hi, my name is Mike B, and this is a game called Wreckfest. As you can see, I'm in first position, upper left corner. Lap six of six, upper right corner. And there's not a whole lot of people left. There were 24 people racing. 24 AI racing, I should say. And <laughs> they are just scattered. All, there's probably four other people maybe on the map out of 24. It was pretty insane. So this is a game that I believe I covered probably like five years ago or something insane uh, that has essentially blossomed into this beautiful triple A quality racing title. I'm going to tell you this right now, and I'm dead serious. This game has replaced dirt for me. I fucking love dirt. I, you guys, if you guys are part of the BFF community, the streaming community side, you guys have seen we played dirt so many times. Uh, dirt 2, Dirt 3, uh, Dirt Showdown, uh, Dirt Rally, right? Uh, it's like we, we, we played them all. Uh, and this has, I mean, for the most part, replaced pretty much all of them except for Dirt Rally. Uh, it's a unique play style, really. Um, the the the, uh, the vehicle physics are super good. Uh, the uh, this the vehicle selection is awesome. Uh, the uh, there's there's no like voiceover type stuff like you like in Dirt. There's like somebody calling you like Fuzzy Nuts or whatever all the time. It's like hey Fuzzy Nuts, why don't we go down here and do this race? We're going to Morocco. Yeah, pack it up, bro. Let's do this. Right? That was that was Dirt. Right? There's no voiceover anything here. Uh, there's no like there's no like RV or something like that. Like some kind of weird like quest hub or something like that. Uh, it's pretty much just just career. He's an active game modifier. Okay, career modifier disabled. So you want to? Are you sure? Uh, let's not. Only because. Only because. Just kidding. Let's do it. All right. So, <laughs> as you can see, I've already gone through regional juniors, and here is basically a series of different races, different types of races. Uh, demolition racing. Uh, uh, there's lawnmower deathmatch. Uh, there, I can imagine if you've like never heard of this game before, like lawnmower deathmatch. What? Uh, there's figure eights. The map you just saw was actually a modded track that uh, that I went. I got off the workshop. It does have workshop. There's several dozen uh, new vehicles you could go and uh, check out. NASCAR. There's a uh, there's races based off of like real race courses. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's just, there's already so many uh, mods currently in. Uh, some of them actually modify gameplay entirely. There's like a drift mod or something. It's crazy. Um, going through here, I mean, there's, yeah, so there's basically there's like regular racing, there's destruction derby, like arena, there's figure eight, there's, uh, there's just all kinds of uh, different things that they have. Um, going to, I guess, some of the national uh, amateurs here. Uh, I don't, I won't go and do anything just because I don't feel like it's really going to give you guys a good picture of what the actual uh, game is. Plus, it takes like 30 minutes or something like that to get through, uh, one of these circuits. So we won't, we won't do that. Um, things you won't see, uh, like you won't see Jim Gahana, like, you know, drifting with, for points and all that stuff. Like that doesn't exist. Your points come from like basically smashing other cars. Um, and that's pretty much it. Even during regular races. And that's the thing. Like in dirt, when somebody sideswipes you, you can people get all mad. It's like, oh man, you totally hit me on purpose. And then salt starts flowing from all over the place. And you're just like, oh Jesus. Uh but in but here in in uh in Wreckfest, um it happens here too. <laughs> Actually it does. In multiplayer, yeah, you get people that bitch about uh people being too aggressive. But at the same time, because it's a demolition derby focused game. People do uh, kind of push it a little bit far and basically say, oh, man, what are you talking about? It's a good demolition derby game. But no, I mean, like you get points for swiping people. So if you're if you're coming in on somebody and you give it a little knock as you're going by, you get like 10 points. Do it. It's all experience. You got to unlock more stuff. Speaking of stuff, let's jump into my cars here. <sighs> I need to go to the store, actually. <laughs> I, I thought I had more stuff on some of these things, but I guess not. Uh, let me see if I can give you guys... Here we go, the market. The market will have all the cars. Ah, here we go. The bugbear bug. Uh, this is zero credits. I might get it because... What the hell is a ski bug? Oh, yeah, there's a mod, by the way. Yeah, there's a ski bug. <laughs> yeah, why not? It sure is it. <laughs> Uh, got a bunch of other cars you can go and purchase. Uh, some of them are going to be a little bit out of my price range. Upper right corner, you can see I'm level 19 with 257,819 experience, and I have 18,000 credits. Uh, well, that's uh, that's not a lot, but you do get quite a bit just for you know racing and playing and all that. Uh, especially if you play against more people, even more AI. 
even if you play with just your friends. That was the thing that I, that got me. I was like, whoa, like I can actually play against my friends. Uh, and, you know, when we do like stream night, right? I play with them or against them, uh, and I actually end up getting like full credit for everything. I was just like, whoa, like I, I get like you know we like you know twenty people or something, and you know it was like ten AI, ten people, and I still get like a ton of money at the end for finishing first, of course. Uh, let's see. Upgrades. Look at this bug here. Not that one. <laughs> uh, this one. All right, cool. Go to paint shop. See, they have different color color schemes. I think they do. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, God, God. The body snatcher. Come on, Herbie. Herbie. There it is. Of course it's going to be Herbie. got to have Herbie. Yep, yeah, of course. Hippie. It's just straight jet black. Man, I had a bug that looked just like this. Just primer black. Primer gray, really. Dark gray. Man. Let's see. I guess we'll go Herbie. You gotta go Herbie, right? You gotta. There you go. Me, me. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think you guys. I didn't think you could change this at all. Kind of weird if you could. Uh, can you change these colors? Nah, I didn't think so. This is just a straight, straight overall. I mean, on any other car, you could change the uh, the colors or colors and whatnot um, to match whatever it is that you want. So we'll go and apply this. Save changes. Yep. Go back. Upgrades. Look at upgrades. Got stall in the sky. Pay attention because there's a ton of stuff and some of these things do more things than what you would expect. How am I, what am I trying to say there? Some of these things have a greater impact than what you would expect. There we go. Whew. Uh, let's see. So first off, the engine. The engine will take you into a different class. This is a B-class vehicle. This is the original stock 1600 bug. <laughs> I used to have five of these when I was a teenager, guys. I was a serious, like, bug nerd. I had a 66, 66, a 70, a 71, a 73, and a 74. Uh, the 66 was a Baja. Uh, I had fiberglass fenders, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and it had a, what did I have in it? I think I had an 1800cc uh, with progressive car. No, no, that one had a, had a, yeah, it was progressive carb. Uh, and then I had a 70, which was an auto stick, which is a very interesting shifting way of shifting. Basically, you get, you have to shift, but it uh, engages the clutch for you. So now it's like paddle shifters exist, but back then you would use like a pneumatic pump that would actually go through and press and, and apply pressure to the uh, the clutch and disengage the clutch, and then you would like change the gears. It was really kind of a fucked up system. But anyways, so yes, 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 I'm very familiar with Volkswagen bugs. Uh, <laughs> so yes, adding an engine, you can see a tuned 1300 engine that takes you from a B to a C. 1300cc is smaller. How funny! I didn't realize I actually kept it with. Uh, they kept the uh, the actual engine type and all that stuff. Race ready V8 engine swap. What the fuck? Oh man. All right. Anyway, so what happens is, is when you change the engine out, it puts you in a different race class. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, you don't want to go through and just throw throw a um, throw a bunch of cool shit on it and then oh wait wait a minute now I'm racing against all these really super fast cars. You can, however, if you look at the right hand side, which is B 188 180 to 183. Boop. They're raising, we're slowly going to start raising up our, uh, our, our, I guess our, what was that? Our license, our, our vehicle value, our eye level, basically for vehicles. Uh, all this is free because, uh, it's, it's a mod, so it doesn't cost anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's actually, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Damn, I'm going the wrong way, dudes. What the heck am I doing? You guys catch me on this. There you go. So basically what you want to do is max this thing out this way. And you can see in the lower left corner, it actually shows you. Uh, what it is that the item is doing, right? Um, if you've worked with vehicles and you know, you know, what what certain things do, right? Like, you know, uh, you know that if you have a better intake, then, you know, you're going to have your air filter. You're going to have, um, you know, better, your engine is going to breathe more. Uh, and if you look at the vehicle, like the way basically where that power is applied, it kind of makes sense, right? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 204 horsepower, 4,000. you also change it, too, if you want to this. This is more of an arcadey kind of way of looking at it, right? Just tells you, it's like, okay, yeah, that, that's a bigger number. The bigger number is what you want. That's what we're going for. Better spark plugs. You know, like straight, what is it? Like street exhaust, stock exhaust, sport exhaust, racing exhaust. Unfortunately, none of these actually have a physical chain to the vehicle. So I'm about to show you guys that. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll show you guys it real quick. We're just racing this, so I'm getting it ready. That's all. <laughs> Camshaft. Let's see, uh, better, uh, pistons. <laughs> I guess you have the, yeah, I wonder if you like, is it just the pistons they swap out? I guess so, huh? Yeah, just straight pistons. 
No boring, no boring of the case. Let's see. So now we're uh, now we're at a two seventy five. Wow, we actually bumped it up there. So whoa. Uh, well, that's fine. We'll just race what we have. They will go and throw on an engine to uh, take it up a little bit higher if we can. A two seventy five. Is there a three sixty three? Might as well. It's free. Let's do it. All right, cool. So that takes that's tune sixteen hundred too. Nice. We don't have to go with the uh, a six nineteen. Wow, that's huge. We should do it. Fuck it. Oh my god, the engine does hang off the back of it. Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, so it does actually look different. Holy crap, I didn't see a change to anything else we were doing. Uh, yes, so cool. Let's take that for a spin. This is where you go adjust the car. You want to adjust the gear ratio. I'll put everything as standard for now. Go from there. Suspension is actually will raise and lower it visually, which is kind of cool. <laughs> now we gotta go stiff, man. Gotta lower that bug a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous settings, reset career mods, all that good stuff. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and go to a custom event. And, uh, what is this? Racetrack, inner, oh, derby track. Okay. I don't know what these are. I do have a couple of tracks at Rainbow Road. This is garbage, actually. Don't, I'm not even going to show you guys. It's terrible. Uh, there's Speed Bowl, which is the first track I showed you guys. There's a bunch of regular courses. Uh, let me go ahead and actually, we'll do a quick race around, I don't know, I'll pick something. Let's see this guy here. Uh, 1.3 kilometers, 1.34 kilometers, 100% gravel. Okay, cool. That should be kind of fun. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll get it with this. Let's see, we'll lower it down. Just again, I just want to give you guys a good run through of a couple of different maps here. So we'll do this at, uh, at uh, two and then we'll do like a derby after this. Uh, let's see, the AI difficulty is expert. And uh, let's see, oh, they're all really getting two guys. Let's go ahead and give them a class A. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and let them choose whatever they want. That'll be fun. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there is no free, huh? That's unfortunate. Well, we'll do that. We'll have some fun for the next one. Let's see. So class A. Give everybody in class A. It's time of day. We'll make sure this is actually afternoon, noon, just so I can, you guys can see everything. And then we go from there. Cool. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Start event. Oh, I'm excited. Increases bug. VA on a bug. This is ridiculous. How's it getting cooled? It's like a giant, I mean, I guess there's really nothing in the front except for your gas tank, and it's got a huge deck lid, and, uh, play, or a huge hood, or boot, I guess, with lots of room. So I guess you could put a pretty fat fan in there uh, on a radiator and just let it go. But I think they scoop it in from the top most of the time when they're trying to cool these things. They have a scoop, big-ass scoop on top. That's why you see, like, old bugs. Uh, they have, like, a big-ass scoop on the top, like the Bajas, because they're basically like, ramming air in. This one, however, just says, nah, whatever. It's just, there's no, there's no air whatsoever. Oh, wait, is there a fan underneath? No. Okay, no, there's not. Okay. That would be crazy. All right, let's see. So let's go ahead and actually, uh, uh let's keep it in the middle for this. Uh, we'll just keep it in the middle. Nah, let's lower the shit. Stiff is kind of silly, though, especially given that we're in 100% gravel. Let's do that. Let's start. Oh, look at that guy's pipes on the right hand side. Oh, he's got a ski. <laughs> Those are skis. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. So you see the damage. Everybody has a health bar. It's on realistic damage right now. So keep that in mind as we play. Not all the AI is going to make it to the end. Shit, I may not make it to the end. But if I find someone strikes me just right. There's like all the weight is in the back. This thing should be drifting on every. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel like they actually got the weight distribution correct. Oh, come on, come on now. Let's change to more fun view. Woo! Oh, baby, a little too much, a little too much. My favorite view. Not on all the vehicles, though. Some of them, especially the right hand drive ones, can't really hang with that. Look at that motor. Just. <sighs> Whoa, that's a sharp ass turn. Did not see that coming and we're over the edge now. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I may not make it to the end. My vehicle. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is good. We get an opportunity to talk a little bit about the actual, uh, the, the mechanics of how they do the crushing of everything. Let's actually go ahead and, um, ah, oh, damn it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and review the replay. There we go. Good, it's already going. Let's go ahead and do this. So the way the vehicle, the way the vehicles kind of collapse on themselves is very comedic. It is not, it is not really that true to form. Uh, the game doesn't try to stress that it's, well, I'm not wearing a helmet. Holy crap. The game is not trying to stress that it's like a realistic striving sim. Uh, but when you put on realistic damage, like some of the hits can actually take you out. It's like, yeah, it makes sense. If I got, 
fucking T-bone. Of course I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be around. Um, and you know what? While we're in this mode, let's talk about this spectator view. So basically, we can free ourselves up here. Let's see. Nope. Well, that's a pause. Was a free cam? Was a hide UI? What was the free cam button? Select camera. Free. There we go. This thing has a freaking great spectator cam. We can zoom in with it like this. Follow the follow the action around the track. Just speed up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. I wonder if the race will keep going without me. We can zoom all the way in, get a good shot. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh the trees are scared. Oh, well, well, missed it. Missed the shot. Missed the shot. <laughs> it's just too bad, isn't it? Hey, look at how there I am. There I am. <laughs> what happened to my health? <laughs> uh, all right, so we go like this. And there they go. There they go. See you later. So, yeah, the spectator cam is like really, really good. Uh, which. <laughs> That's why I couldn't continue the race. Wow, it all makes sense now. <sighs> okay, let's stop. Let's go. Yep, let's get the replay. <sighs> Jesus. Next thing, let's talk about the music. This has like the best early 2000s, like Diet Everything mix. There's like Diet Paramore. There's like Diet Cell Dweller. There's like Diet all kinds of things. It's actually pretty impressive. Uh, like you listen to it and you're like, oh yeah, I've heard of this band. No, I have never heard of this band, but it sure sounds like bands I used to listen to when I was a teenager. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are teenagers. We're teenagers back in like the late 90s and early 2000s, I hope, please. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and choose another vehicle. We'll go... Well, this is a custom, right? Event options. Uh, let's do school buses. This is always fun. I cannot choose a school bus. I guess I have to go buy it. I don't really have to buy those. In multiplayer, you don't have to worry about buying shit. Like all the cars are available if the server, um, the person running the server actually allows it, which I'm willing to bet that I don't get that until I, yeah, I bet you have to unlock it. That's unfortunate. Uh, so here's what we'll do. We're gonna go back to the race. And for our final race for this, for this episode of Indy for Breakfast, uh, we are going to custom events. Uh, we're gonna do Crash Canyon. Notice that the lanes are very close together. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go in. I'll go in. The, I'll go in the bugbear bug. I think that's pretty good. I'll go in the bugbear bug, and everybody else is gonna go in school buses. And I have 23 other people competing in realistic damage. This should be awesome. Yeah, it should be good. They better load in with buses. Damn it. Here we go. Oh, I'm at the back of the line. Oh, baby, this is going to be great. Was it two laps, I think, right? We got this. We got this. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, really, nothing's going to matter because there's just so many vehicles here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go offside here a little bit. Oh, see if I can make up some, some distance here and then slide right in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Whoa, a little too much gas. That weight really is all on the back. Guess I have time. Let's still get over this way. Get in front of them. Speaking of Diet Paramore, is this actual Paramore? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> the background music. Whoa, watch out for bus. Oh, God, I keep losing control of the vehicle. Not good. This thing's got so much torque. And my my diff, I have no idea what anything. I don't know what my setting, settings are at all, actually. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, a little too much. There you go. So instead of finishing, here's what I'll do. Uh those guys are pushing through. Let's just let this happen. See what happens here. Oh, no, we're fine. We can fight him. Let's fight him. Oh, my gosh. I, like, there we go. I was going to say, did I dodge them all? There we go. Oh, my body is flying out of it. Oh, so, yeah, school bus. Yeah, school bus one. Shocker. 
Oh man, so I don't know if I don't know if I'm like accurately if I'm representing this game to the best the best of my ability because it is it really really is uh such a fun fun game. We're gonna do uh let's do rocket, yeah. There you go. Let's just start. I got Bruce on top of this one. The Demolition Derby. It'll do this. Um, I really hope I'm representing the game well because it really is a superb triple A quality indie game. Uh it, you may have had of it had its issues, its growing pains. Uh, but we're well past that now. Oh my god, I forgot it's 24 vehicles. Oh hey, my bug look at the one on the bottom left there. Oh huh, cool. But yeah, it is it is just a fun game, man. Like it's just they got they got the physics right. They got like all this stupid stuff you could do to your vehicles just right. Like they just did so many things correct. So shunt 20. Oh, we're already taking people out. Oh, the bug, of course. Here we go. I'll try to see if I can T-bone this guy. Mm, he's gonna cut across. Oh. T-bones get you some serious points. Bam! Look at that. Right into the wall. Beautiful. Right front wheel bent. Oh, Jesus. Bruce! Bruce, no! <laughs> Takedown assist. Plus 100 XP. The more XP you get, the more unlocks. All so many vehicles already out. I have no takedowns. I gotta start taking people out. Critical damage. Wrecked. Damn. <laughs> I should have reversed, actually. <laughs> Position 13. Nah, no, man, we gotta do that again. Let's do that again. Let's see. Uh, uh, restart. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bruce. That nothing else is gonna really change. Let me see. Actually, yeah, gear ratio. Look at short. You just gotta get that little burst of speed here and there. That's it. Suspension. Super soft. Okay, I was going, I'm going straight in. Uh, straight in right here to this guy. Ooh, damn. Taking out assists already. Someone's down. The guy on skis. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Here we go. Good. Bruce. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, baby. Oh, shit. I need to take, I need to take down points. Oh, fuck. There we go. Okay, critical damage. He's going to turn around. The realistic damage really hurts. Right, thing's dead already. It's a waste. Oh, I still got damn it. Ah, oh, 13 again. Damn it. One more time. One more time. We got we got time. We got time. Here we go. 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 No. Oh, I took all of his health. Look at that. Uh oh, starting to get skin swarmed. <laughs> I thought staying still was going to pay off here. Oh, you know what it is? I have no armor on this vehicle. Son of a... I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, so you could put armor on your vehicle. That's one thing I didn't show you guys. But it's in the same menu as going through and doing, doing vehicle upgrades. Bruce! Who can I hit? I have no health. How about you? My... Critical damage. Yeah, so it's happening. I'm basically, I'm basically killing myself because I have no armor. And that's a wreck. You know what I should do? We should quit. And then we should go back and tune the vehicle. And then come back. Yeah, let's do that real quick. We got time. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here's the thing, though. And I haven't, I haven't mentioned this yet. Not because I was trying to keep it from you guys or anything. Um... It's $44.99. It is probably one of the most expensive... Um, uh, armor, here we go. Probably one of the more expensive uh, games we've ever covered on this show, actually. Let's see. Steel Beam Snipes 20. Okay, so look at the weight. The weight's going to be pretty significant on some of these. So it looks like I have the let's see, 20. Okay, so this is going to be the best one, really. Cool. Yeah, just looking at strength. Well, this one's actually a little better. Plus 100, plus 120. Why is that one push bar, huh? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to need the best thing we possibly could get here, so. We're going to have more strength in front of the car. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you anything. But it goes up. The number, green number goes up. I was looking at the left there. Cool. Let's get it. I can afford it. 126 for this guy. I already have it. None. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know you want that number to go down. Strength. There you go. Push bar. Plus 100. That's where I get the best one again. Push bar in the back. 
It does look good. Roll cage, uh, driver cage, roof bar. <laughs> uh, let's see. I did actually have some armor on here, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure we get as much as much on as we can. What do we have here? Plus 100, plus 120, plus 50. Yeah, that's like basically stuck. Let's put a big ass bar on the side. Steel beam. Good. And then window bars. Let's see. Can't actually see. No, it's all cosmetic for that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Hopefully that makes a difference. Slightly better armor all the way around. In terms of visuals and whatnot. We go through. I haven't showed you guys this yet. Go through and see the different styles of uh, wheels you could go through and purchase and throw on your vehicle. That's just the front. There's also the rear. There's also the exhaust. There's, uh, see, there you go. See? I have obviously the fancy stuff. The front, of course. It, uh, it, it's, uh, it's an inspiring look. Let's see. And then there's the weird shit, which is, of course, you guys already saw. There's a derby sign here. And then there is Bruce. Oops. I'm sorry. Bruce. There we go. So that's good. Let's go ahead and go back in. Hopefully that makes a difference. Jeez. I don't know, man. Uh, let's go ahead and do a different one. Let's do... Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Madman Stadium. This will be the last one. This will be great. Demolition. Da -da -do. Da -da -da. Good. Classy, everybody. Awesome. Yo, they are on expert difficulty. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe. Oops, start event. I'm really hoping that, <laughs> that I actually do pretty well on this. Otherwise, I feel like I just spent the last five minutes just going through and doing all these upgrades for nothing. We'll have to try to... I don't know, maybe like do some shunts or something. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and tighten up the suspension a little bit. This is all it's up a little bit good. Cool. Let's go for Sand Dream on the left. Oh, there's someone else right there. I guess we're all in a circle. Damn. Right, let's turn around. Yeah, this was actually in the earlier version of the game. Like, back when I had no content. It was crazy. Like, it was, they went from having no content. It was like two courses, three courses, or, and like a couple of them were, oh, that's a kill, takedown. Uh, and like two or three of them were Demolition Derby. When it was like one race course. It was basically nothing. Three cars. No real good progression system to really, like, really kind of made any kind of sense. Um, and then all of a sudden, they just have all of this content. It's like, yo, what? Where are these guys come from? Okay, let's got it. We gotta do this. We gotta start using the ass in here. Bruce is still here though. Damn it. You don't go very fast in reverse. Oh hey, that's me. Nice. Oh <laughs> Use this to get some momentum here. Uh and then uh and then ruin the momentum entirely. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's my crotch. Uh I'm trying to chase these guys down. I just can't take another hit like that. Oh, God, it's already done. Critical damage. I have basically nothing left. One more opponent. That's it. This guy's in front of me, isn't it? No, he's not. Okay. Here, here, here. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Go, 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 go. I wonder if we can get him to wreck into something. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> This is why I ride in the freaking the hood, or at least in the driver's seat. Ah, watch the replay on that. Oh, this is a great view. Oh my god. Can we just keep this view? Hold on. Let's make sure. Let's see, uh, we're gonna go free. Good, and then we're just gonna go ahead. No, 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 no. No, 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 come on, get out of this view. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 god, dang it. That's what happens when you try to use a controller. Let's see, play, let's see, da, 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 and then... We'll go to free. Good. And then we'll play. I want to see it from up here. I don't know what the uh, button is to go up. Jesus. This is the way to watch this, by the way. There I am, right there. Racking up those points. But seriously, we need we need to appreciate spectator view on this. I could switch from vehicle to vehicle. I could like slow down the game on the replay, right? Um, speed things up, right? Go super slow-mo. I could zoom all the way in and be like, what is he doing? Look at this fucking madman. Look at this <laughs> Bruce. It's yeah, it's just like, it's just good. 
It's just good. Oh, this guy's done. This guy's done. This guy's done. This is the end right here. This is the end. He's going to clip this guy and do himself in. Oh, nope. It's coming, though. It's coming. I hear another vehicle, I think. No, nobody. I want to see this guy go down. Oh, he just, really? That was it. Yep, he did it. <laughs> that was it right there. Uh, then we zoom out. We speed things up a little bit. We let him finish. Oops. Oh, that was me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's Wreckfest. It really is a fantastic racing title. The uh, the campaign feels great, right? I mean, there's gonna be some repetition there because you know there's, there's only a handful of game modes and it basically just recycles of different vehicles and all that. But some of the modes are pretty fun. A bunch of buses after you and a tiny little piece of shit three wheeler, right? There's there's all kinds of like crazy different things that you can do just because of the complexity of, of different, or because all the different combinations of things that you can match up to each other. And that's one way that we, uh, uh, you know, we when we stream this, uh, we uh, have like community night. Uh, on Sundays, like we were, we the first like what weekend? I think the first weekend we played it, we played for hours and we didn't even do the regular racing. That tells you that should tell you something. Like we didn't even do the regular races and we were just making up weird shit and then just playing. We were having a blast. So that's it. Like if anything, if anything, add it to your wish list and just watch for it to go on sale because it is absolutely worth. It's worth it to me. The forty four ninety nine. I would pay that much for this for sure because it is another dirt. It's a triple A worthy game. Uh, but if it drops anywhere below that, definitely go and pick it up. So that's it. My name is Mike B. This is <laughs> Indie for Wreckfest. The game is called Wreckfest. You can check it out right now on Steam for forty four dollars and ninety nine cents. I'll see you guys later.